This is the Dell Inspiron 3650. So I'm going to put two one terabyte hard drives in this unit. You disconnect uh, your computer, and removing all wires, and then you have to just unscrew these two screws. One here, and one here. Once you unscrew those two screws, you just pull out over here, and the back comes off. The next thing you want to do is just pull up these clips and remove the front cover. The next thing you want to do is, it's very easy, you see it says pull over here, just pull and that thing opens up and there you have all the places you need to attach. Here's where the three and a half inch hard drive is and this is where we're going to put our two two and a half inch hard drives. Now we could refer to this diagram, which is from the manual, and it'll tell you pretty much where the important parts that we need to know. These two black ones right here, they're going to be for the new, two new hard drives. Okay, now this is our SATA hard drive connector, and that's going to be connected to number seven. Now there is number seven. You see that little piece of plastic right there. That's going to have to coincide with this little clippy thing. You just plug it in pretty easy. It snaps right into place. We're now going to connect these two cables in the corresponding number three and number two slots. Number three is on the bottom. Number two is on the top. Just label these two cables. As you can see, those two spots are also labeled on the board. They snapped right in, no problem. They are oriented with a little notch on the side so you can't make a mistake by putting it in except the correct way. Well, here you go. It's, uh, it's got like these two little spots you just plug into your hard drive. Yeah, you see those? That's where those pins go in on the hard drive. So let's put it together. This is the way you have to um, orient your hard drive. Here in the manual, they have a diagram showing how these uh, wires are oriented into the hard drive. All right, I got both my hard drives and put them in these harnesses. We're going to just slip them in. And I can see this is going to snap in. Now when you're slipping these things in, this part, see where I'm orienting it? This part goes in here like this. See? And it slips right in. Well, I just pulled these babies out and I flipped them around inside the casing. Because these wires don't match up it this way. We have orientations for these plugs to be put in. And it doesn't match up correctly because if I did it the way that shows it, I'd have to make my wires go like this. And that doesn't make sense. See, there you go. You're oriented like that. And here are those plugs. See? Now they can plug in following those guides. P1 and P2 plugged in. Now that we have these power cables properly installed, that goes to our two new hard drives. And this power cable over here, that goes to our primary hard drive and over here our CD player, our DVD player recorder. And this here is the data cable, and here's another data cable, see, and we've got two data cables here, and we're going to correspond it, I see it's labeled two and three, and we got a two and one, so we're going to put the two with the one, and the three with the two, now we're going to route them, see the way they routed that over here, we're going to mimic that, and we're going to route it down the same way, okay, we did that, we routed it, Everybody's hooked up. This rib 
that little piece and close it down. And we get this piece right here. And we have little hinges and it just slips into the hinges. Yeah, right? It's all snapped in place. And you get the cover and the cover just goes back on. Oh, yeah, like this. And it snaps right in place. And now we just screw it in with our two screws and plug everything in and happy, we'll turn it on and see how she works. And the hard drive that came with the computer, that is there, but I don't see my other two hard drives. So now I gotta troubleshoot that. Pull up my uh, Window Explorer and see any drive listed at all. And I'm gonna go into Properties and I'm gonna go into Hardware. And there they are. So what we gotta do is we gotta type in Computer Management and then we get this menu. And we're gonna select Computer Management. And you look down and you select Disk Management. Then you get this screen and it shows the our regular hard drive. Our two new hard drives which are already uh, did this too, so now I see it. And this reagent, which we're going to do for the demonstration. So we're going to right click it, we're going to format it, we're going to go OK. We're going to get this message, we'll go OK. And now it's formatting. We know it's, this is formatting because it says it's formatting. Uh, now we're going to go and we're going to right click it again and we're going to uh, give it a, a drive letter. So first we're remove. Okay. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to change drive letter. We're going to add it. Oh, we got ABCD, FG, H, and we'll go down and choose I. And then we'll go, okay. And there it is. And there you go. The free agent is now drive I. Our pictures of the H and I are our two new hard drives. Get all these directions on how to petition and do that to you what I just showed you on this website. So take that address down and use it to help you. Here is a copy of uh, the invoice numbers, the part numbers that you will order from Dell for the uh, caddy and the uh, data wire and the power wire. This is the parts I got from Dell, the two caddies, the data wire, and the power wire. And here is one of the two hard drives I used uh, to install into this computer. I got this for about 50 bucks online a piece.